I'm really excited about where life is going to go right now. I took some time away from things, and I think the best days of my life are yet to come. I feel more calm now and less paranoid of everyone, you know, everything around me. I was in basically a manic episode for a couple weeks. During this, I definitely filmed a lot of videos. I filmed a lot of the Volcano Horizon, the blankets, the skylines, the chemtrails. I documented them. Like I said, I document the skies. Um, and it's kind of manic there. No, I didn't sleep much. I only slept three or four hours a night, and it's that's all it really needed. That's all I really needed to get through. But eventually, I got to the point where, before I took time away, I was going through an episode of sleep deprivation. Sleep deprivation is, I've definitely seen that before. That right there itself creates kind of this manic, you know, state. Um, I tried to go out and film the sunset this evening, but <clears throat> I took some time away from things, and things, I guess, hadn't quite blossomed, and when I first came back into the neighborhood, I saw they had, um, blossomed. The whole neighborhood looked completely different, more greener, and, like, the... The neighborhood kind of looks like a forest, and the place I normally go go and film at the evening, the trees have definitely grown in more, so I can't really film the um, the horizon during, you know, the west, horizon west. But horizon east, that spot is definitely a place I will be filming, but I'm not as manic, so I won't be out as much at that time in the mornings. I'm kind of back on a normal schedule right now. But, you know, I chased the volcano horizon. I chased the skylines. I chased the blankets and I document them. Put it out there, what's going on in our world. Um, here's one thing. When I hear people say, oh, it's just Ohio weather. I remember when I was, like, younger, <clears throat> late, you know, 96, 97, 98. The seasons were like they were supposed to. We had, you know, you got the four seasons that last three months, and they started when they were supposed to, and they ended when they were supposed to. And it was, we actually got those seasons. I want to say it was about late 2003, November 2003. That was the first time winter came like a month early because anymore, especially this year, we didn't have a spring. We haven't had a spring and fall, a true spring and fall in about 15 years. Um, we might have a few spring and fall like days, but the other, they're extremes. They're really cold or they're really hot. We didn't see a spring this year. And we're probably not going to see a fall, too. Something's wrong with the season. Something's off with the earth. Um, like I said, for about the last 15 years, the seasons have been off. I remember when, you know, summer used to start, you know, started getting warmer late June, June 21st, the summer solstice, and it started getting cold, you know, late December, December 21st, the winter solstice. But I know it's about, hell, might as well say about the end of October, it's, it gets below freezing. At the beginning of May, it gets, um, it starts getting really warm. Things are like a month and a half off. And people say, oh, there I go. I bring this up like, oh, Ohio weather. It's just Ohio weather. And um, I'm like, it wasn't always like that. The seasons are off and people don't even seem to notice it or they just use the cheap cop out. Instead of admitting that something's wrong with the earth, the cheap cop out that, oh, it's just Ohio weather. And then we used to, I remember I first noticed the volcano horizon in like 2003. 
now, especially like last summer, more often you're seeing them every night. The sunsets are different. The sunrises are different. And I always saw this. I wasn't really up at that time or paying attention, but I always saw the sun, you know, the volcano horizon in the evening. There's also the volcano horizon in the morning. There's basically what I refer to as volcano horizon east and volcano horizon west. And sometimes these images, these colors are going, you know, farther north. They're going farther south. Lots of mysteries with the atmosphere and where we live. And I'm excited about where this channel is going to go. I'm very excited about where my life is going to go. I document my life and the things I see around me. There is more footage to come.